I'm Fatima. And I'm Michelle Lee. And we are going to show you some of our favorite, I think really straightforward tips about contour and highlight. We're going to be talking about the Studio line for MAC Cosmetics. It's just really amazing. It's kind of stood the test of time. I think Studio Fix Powder was my first MAC product that mine I bought. Mine too. Mine too. I think it was about 11, 12 years ago when I bought mine. And it's kind of stuck with me all the years. It, it never lets you down, really. It makes sense. The Studio line is, it's a, a brand heritage for us. We have Studio Fix Fluid, which I'm using now. And I'm just, I've just sort of watered it down a bit with a little bit of my softening lotion here, the um, Marine Bright formula, just to kind of almost make it like a watercolor. I like a very sheer look, even if I'm going to contour and highlight. I still like it to be like a veil or a silk stocking over mm, my face. I don't like absolutely. a lot of coverage. This is probably the, the highlight of my day, concealer. So this is the new studio. Um, Pro palette. Bam, I have one too. Huh? Which one are you I'm using? Love. I'm using the medium. I'm using medium deep. Perfect. You know what I love about these? They have corrector shades in them. I'm yeah. all about using a bit of ochre and a bit of orange or, or coral around my eyes to take away that grayness. And I like this 190 brush because it's kind of big and bossy, <laughs> but it's it's thin enough that you like can kind of get into areas like around the eye and just cleaning up around the mouth. So I'm going to start with a little bit of NC just to bring down the warmth. And what I like to do is kind of imagine like a kind of a swoosh, like a Nike swoosh mm -hmm. line that goes up the side of your face, so down along the nose and then all the way up the cheekbone. But I like to do my shade first. Whatever, if I were wearing just one foundation that day, I do that shade and I do a light wash of it. Now, at this point, it doesn't matter. I can go dark or light, but I'm gonna go dark and I wanna start contouring. Now, you're following your bones and you wanna make sure that you start back by the ear. And this is very dark. This is an NW55, which is a few shades darker than me. But I'm gonna map this out so you can see it just because then I can blend it. <laughs> Now, I contour my forehead because I have a lot of forehead. If you have a lower hairline or a more narrow forehead, you don't need to contour. It's not one size fits all. Now, my tick, and I don't know if you've tried this before, but the best thing to do is I always say to everybody, you know, find your groove line. Mm -hmm. And that's about taking your finger and kind of feeling out the architecture of your face. Yes. Because I think you need to understand where your bones lie. You do. You know, you need to actually you like love your face up a little bit. So it takes some time to feel where your groove is, once you found your groove, it's always good to find your groove, you literally want to place your brush right in that groove line and just do, as Fatima has mentioned, just a little line. And I always say kind of create a dotted invisible line from the corner of your eye down your cheek and kind of stop just short of that. That's always a safe way to know that you're not going to over contour or cup your cheek in, which is going to make your cheek look bigger. Yeah. So you want to make sure that you kind of keep it to that line. And when it comes in too far, it makes the front of the face look dirty too. It can, it, it can almost have the opposite effect of being appealing. So now that I've uh, plotted all my contours out, I want to make sure that I'm going to merge all these colors together. Mm -hmm. So I've um, selected a C5.5, mm -hmm. which matches my skin tone. And the 188 stippling brush, and I'm just going to kind of mix it or whip it all together really. I'm going to start off down here. And the great thing about Studio Fix Fluid is it's got great optical diffusers, which really just kind of soft focus your face, mm -hmm. makes your skin appear a lot smoother, and just kind of plays to the whole facelift effect of contouring and highlighting, because that's what yes. you can do, yes. is you can really give yourself a facelift without the expense. If you take time to learn how to hone that bone structure. I mean, immediately it disappears. I've got a nice gradient without it being too strong. And I'm just gonna go along the edges of the nose. I think I should just add a little bit more right in the inside of the eye. And I'm gonna connect that down the nose. Now I'm always, I'm always asked how to slim down the nose. And this is the perfect way to do it mm -hmm. without being too much because there's a fine line. Right. That you want, you don't want to cross over. So I'm just gonna take small amount and make sure that it really meets with the eyebrow and remember I'm going to blend this in so you don't have to worry makeup blends in so don't get scared if it looks too dark I'm going to grab the same brush um, the 188 
and it's got a little bit of my natural skin tone on it. Yes, so that helps it blend Just so that it easier. really merges in. And I'm gonna go right over that. What I'm gonna do now is to make sure that those contours are popping, mm -hmm. but locked in place. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use this uh, Studio Fix powder. It's the same tone as the contours that I used earlier on. Mm -hmm. So it's an NW46. And what I'm going to do, same brush that you were using earlier on. 168, 168. a must have. And I'm gonna make sure that I really dust that off because you don't wanna over build up your contour. Right. So I'm gonna start with the brush angled towards my ear, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna start right in the corner, right by your groove line. So I'm holding the brush really low down. Okay, so this allows you to really make sure that you don't have too much pressure on the brush. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm holding it low down and then really flat, and allowing me just to kind of lightly swoosh across there, mm -hmm. but very lightly. And then the same brush, I'm literally just gonna lightly tap, but when I say lightly, I mean lightly. Very lightly. And the remnants, I'm just gonna brush right along my lid. And kind of through the crease and then up towards my temple. Is that good? That looks great. Let's see. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Just when you thought it was super highlighted, I'm gonna pop it out even more. Ah. So this for me is one of my go-to products. I adore it, Hush Cream Color Base. And it really does, it's one of those colors that just works. Whether it's winter, whether it's summer, it also has a very second skin mm -hmm. type of um, finish. Mm -hmm. So it's got a subtle sparkle. I'm going to use my fingers again. And it works on a lot of different skin, skin tones, tones, a very I wide agree. range. Again, so. I think it goes down to the fact that it's a warm undertone. So I'm going to actually just start off by making sure that I find the top of my cheekbone. And actually, there should be a natural shadow like a little bit of light that's kind of cast there already. Yeah. So kind of look for that cast of light and then start in the outer corner. And you're just gonna pat it on. You don't wanna buff too much, you just wanna pat with your finger. And I'm using my ring finger because it's got the least amount of pressure. And I'm gonna do a little bit of a C shape. Now, you can swish it all the way back up if you really wanted to elongate your cheekbone. But I'm just gonna actually connect it with un underneath the eye. Once you learn the art of contouring and highlighting, it changes your love of makeup entirely. So take the time to really experiment with this. Find those three matching colors, you know, like we've used today, your concealer palette, along with your two shades of Studio Fix Fluid. I think once you find this marriage, success is imminent. You Have look great. You look good too. You look like a Where are we going? Oh. Can I have your <laughs>